You might think the larger the local company, the more they'd spend on advertising. But we found there can be some eye-opening differences, and it might have everything to do with who's calling the marketing shots. I'll explain in this episode. Corey's Local Marketing Minute is brought to you by iPublish Media. Increase new accounts and grow local ad revenue by delivering the types of campaign SMBs want to buy today. Learn more by visiting iPublishMedia.com or by emailing sales at iPublishMedia.com. And now, the shaman of local marketing, Corey Elliott. Hello all. Differences amongst the same. That's also the title of my third romance novel. Okay, what we're talking about here, as far as the same goes, are larger local businesses. Let's visualize it, shall we? We took the results from our local advertiser survey and we put everybody into two groups. Either they were making over a million bucks or not. That's million if you can't see it. Because we really wanted to understand the difference between these two, but that's not the most interesting difference. We also placed everybody into three different buckets, either a novice marketer, a mid-range marketer, or a master marketer. These are local businesses, not agencies. So we got ourselves a grid here, right? Businesses making under a million, they're either novice, mid, or master. And larger businesses, novice, mid, master. So for this episode, I'm gonna concentrate on just two of these squares. For now, let's put aside these guys and let's take out the mid and let's compare big novices with big masters. And I think understanding the difference between these two can reveal a lot for local media companies and agencies. Okay. So one of the major differences that jumped out right away was on average how many different kinds of media these two were buying. On average, big novices were buying five different types of media. Big masters, 8.4. Not only that, there were certain media that more big masters were buying than big novices. For instance, out of home. 21% of big novices were buying out of home last year compared to 44% of big masters. And so it goes. There were some pretty stark differences when it came to broadcast TV, content marketing, and OTT. 13% of big novices were buying some broadcast TV, while 31% of big masters were, were was. I don't know. Same with content marketing, 13%, 31%. And look at this, OTT, 10% of big novices, 36% of big masters. So big masters buying more media and more of them buying stuff. They're buying more media and more stuff. That makes sense, right? Let's go a little deeper into these guys. So what are the master marketers at big companies doing differently? Well, to begin with, they are spending more on marketing. How many times more? On average, these guys are spending four times more on marketing. Now remember, they're in the same revenue bracket, but these guys are quadrupling the spend of the big novices. You should see the spending difference on particular media. Why don't I tell you? The amount they're spending on events, five times what big novices are. Out of home, we mentioned that before, 5.1 times. SEM, 5.6 times. Email sponsorship, 6.3 times. They're spending on more things, and they're spending more on those more things. But what about the big novices? Are they doing anything more than the big masters? Well, a little different. Nowhere does the big novice spend more than the big master. They do outrank them in other places. At what rate do you think they rated Yelp is effective more than big masters? Novices were three times more likely to say, yep, Yelp is effective. Yep, Yelp, Yep, Yelp. Okay. They were also three times more likely to say, don't know if I'm over or under relying on digital. I don't know. So why? Why are we seeing these differences? I think it has everything to do with who these big novices are compared to the big masters. So we asked for your company who is making the marketing decision. And there were some differences between these two groups. One choice was owner of the company. In big masters, 29% said, yeah, the owner of the company is making their marketing decisions. In big novices, 42%. Conversely, not really conversely, but differently, marketing staff or person, 44% for big novices, 78% for big masters. Aha! So, spending more money, spending it on more media might be a derivative from here. But these guys are still relying on an owner. Well, equally marketing staff as well, but much more of a reliance on an owner than the big masters. So, we know these guys spend more. Are there any clues about these guys to get them here? So we asked a lot of questions about local sales reps. And here are some telling information. When compared to big masters, big novices were more likely to say, Local media reps are a source of marketing intelligence. They were also more likely to say, 
I like having the option of meeting with local media rep in person. And when we asked how they like to buy media, big novices were more likely than big masters to say they prefer to meet with sales reps in person. How much more? 68%. So what does this tell me? Remember with the big masters, it seems they were relying on marketing staff or a person to help drive the plethora of media they were buying and the amount they were buying. Big novices don't have that, but it sure does look like they're relying on someone to fill that role. If there was just somebody who could do that for them. I can't think of anybody. Wait a minute. Local media can be their marketing department. That's why it's so important if you're a local media company to understand marketing, not just your products, marketing. Because some of these people who are sitting in big companies need the help. Some of them think they got it figured out, but a lot of them don't. Remember the title of my book, Differences Among the Same, out in December. Title of my next romance novel. No, that sucks. You've been watching Corey's Local Marketing Minute, sponsored by our friends at iPublish Media. Learn more at iPublishMedia.com. And if a few minutes with Corey isn't enough, you can hear more of his insights on the Local Marketing Trends podcast. Just look for the podcast link on BorellAssociates.com.